Hey everybody, welcome back to the Critterverse. Uh, today we are going to attempt to do some sort of bloomy thing. Uh, so I've got three ounces of my Takamo Lova viscosity uh, that I ran through my resiners airless. Um, I have about, I don't know, 15 mil in here for my white. And I'm going to go ahead, this is up to 36 degrees. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pour, Celsius by the way. So I'm going to go ahead and get this decanted. So I can put in my colors. I don't want to fill it too far up because I want to have room for me colors. Um, today I'm going to be using a Ranger Glacier and Ranger Ginger. So Get my ginger in first and then we'll mix up the white but I do see one little pesky duder there get rid of him and I'm just gonna add and be careful that it doesn't spit I'm gonna add some ginger to the middle And then I'm going to put my glacier around the outside. All right, so for my white, I'm going to be using Lumalite White Pigment resin dye, pigment paste, whatever, and just put one dot in there because I'm not using very much resin for the white, so I don't want to overdo it. And mix that in. See how that looks once it's all mixed together while my alcohol inks are moving and grooving in the mold. So it's still kind of milky but not super milky. We're like at 2% right now. We're not at whole. Um, so I might add just a T90 bit. Just let it come to the end of the dropper and I'm not squeezing it at all. I'm just letting it fall off the end. Come on. You know you can do it. I have faith in you. See you. Come on, service tension. There we go. All right. Wipe off that white because if you don't, it's a mess and it gets all over you and it's just a thing and I don't like it. Now, I'm not going to do sort of traditional bloomy things with this one. Yeah, see, that's that's white. That is very, very white. I'm not going to do traditional bloomy things with this as far as my white goes. You know what? I think I might actually add, which will give me just a skosh more time to let that white come back to temp is mermaid. I'm just, I'm feeling, I don't know, beachy. Boop. 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 Yeah, 
There we go. So let that do its thing. Move around. I will put away my alcohol inks so I don't lose them because I have been known to uh, misplace things. Anybody who knows me knows. And you can see that alcohol ink just scooching around and doing its thing and getting happy. All right. And with that, I just want to make sure that my white is really, really well mixed up, really well blended. good. I am just going to give this, since I've added components in, I'm just going to give that a quick torch, make sure that there's not anything in there that doesn't need to be. And it looks like my colors are pretty much staying still now. So, keep a cup. Pinch. I don't do piping bags. Piping bags and I do not get along. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, what I'm going to do first is go in a kind of spirally doodle first. And then I'm going to go spiky, spiky. Spiky, 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 spiky. Ooh, spiky, spiky. And after spiky spiky, I'm going to do some more swirly swirly. I'm trying to stay away from the middle really because I don't want any like blobbies like dropping and stuff like that. A heavy white resin presence in the middle. All right, so that's looking good. I'm digging that. So now I'm going to get my tiny dotting tool and I'm going to do just sort of random things. I'm not really going in with any great precision or care of where I'm putting the petals because, you know, flowers aren't perfect. Being real careful not to go too deep Ooh, that was a near miss. Uh, careful not to go too deep. And then I am going to give this just a wee little swirl in the middle. And that's it. I'm just going to let it do its thing. And the refill and go through tiny torch, pop any bubbles, warm up that white, give it a chance to start moving and grooving. And then we will come back after a little while and see what it's doing. See you then. 
Okay, first layer is done. Second is to do our top coat. So we're going to be using Let's Resin Golden Mica. And going to be using about half of that little spoon in here. It is shimmery. You're probably seeing mica orbs right now on the camera. Uh, so let me get steak. at all the orbs. Oh my gosh. My mica powder is haunted. Make sure that it is all mixed in really well. Look at that. I wanted to do a contrasting color from what is on the uh, coaster itself. So, all right, so that's good and mixed up. So now what I'm gonna do is I am going to, you know, I'm gonna pour the gold first. And make it pretty puddle right in the middle and then go in with the clear and let that go to the edges go 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 <laughs> Look at that mica move. That is party. Party! So, have a little more clear just to make sure that everything is covered. And we'll let that move and get gorgeous. And then we will be back for the demold. See you then. Okay. It is time to demold. Sparkle, 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 sparkle. Uh, so let's do this. Let's find a spot that I can. Oh, well, okay, that came away. All right. I really like this gold. Turned out really cute. I'm really, really, really keen to see what this looks like on the other side, though. I haven't peeked or anything, so I don't know. Just being careful with my edges here. Because it is sort of a fiddly mold. There we go. It's out. It's out. So this is the back. Ready? Let's see the front. One, two, three. Oh, wow. Ah, oh, that is awesome. It looks like a mum. Oh my goodness. And the gold behind the green in the back is kind of giving it a sparkle shimmer thing in the blue. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I am so, so pleased with that. 
Oh my gosh. Yay! Success! So, there you go. That's it. Um, I hope you like it. If you do, let me know in the comments. Um, do all those, you know, buttons and hoozy whoppers and thingamajigs. And, oh, with my extra um, clear and gold from the back layer, I made some uh, fancy little hearts, but they're not quite ready to come out yet. So, thank you guys so much. I will see you next time. Take care. Cheers.